as part of sdg4 we move on to education as a global common good the common good may be defined as a as constituted by goods that humans share intrinsically in common and they communicate to each other such as values civic virtues and sense of justice now here we see that these are to be shared intrinsically jab ke public good ki baat thi that was to be shared extrinsically so that's where we try to make a distinction between the public good and common good aur iske kyunki iski base jo hai values hai civic virtues ki baat kar rahi hai justice ki baat ho rahi hai to isse solidarity ka concept jo hai wo uh, prominently emerge hota hai so that is how it binds people it it leads to the cohesiveness to the unity of the individuals uh, let's say in in common or in the aggregate so the common good is inherent to the relationship that exists among the members of a society tied together in a collective manner ye values jo hai na ye uh, inko bind karti hain it creates solidarity so the concept of common good goes beyond the limits of the public good in at least three ways pehli hai the notion of common good goes beyond the instrumental concept of the public good in which human well being is framed by individualistic socio economic theory so it is not only the good life of individual that matters but also the goodness of the life ye well being wali baat nahi hai balki it is something uh, which is uh, uh let us say non materialistic kind of thing which holds the individuals to gather so it cannot be personal it cannot be let us say a parochial kind of thing so the notion of education as a common good reaffirms the collective dimension of education as a shared social endeavor ye sabko is isme milkar contribute karna hoga so it becomes uh, the shared responsibility of uh, everybody so that becomes uh, some kind of commitment it when it comes uh, becomes commitment then it makes the community cohesive to work in this direction dusri baat hai define common good with regard to the diversity of context and conceptions of well being and common life to yahan par baat aa rahi hai uh, uh, common good ko consider karna in relative terms because of the diversities in values of the people diversities in the cultures of the people therefore diverse communities will therefore have different understanding of specific context of the common good तो उसमें जो पॉलिसी है इट हैज़ टू रिकगनाइज एंड नर्चर द दिस डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स तो यहाँ पर नॉलेज सिस्टम्स फ़र्क हो सकते हैं तो वही गिव ड्यू रिकगनीशन टू दैट तीसरी बात है द कॉन्सेप्ट एम्फोसाइज द पार्टिसिपेटरी प्रोसेस विच इज़ ए कॉमन गुड इन इट तो ये इट्स मोर लाइक पार्टिसिपेटिव डिमोक्रेसी जो कि शेयर्ड एक्शन की बात कर रहा है तो उसकी इसमें इस तरह से है द शेयर्ड एक्शन इज इंट्रेंसिक एज वेल एज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल टू द गुड लाइफ विद बेनिफिट्स डिराइव आल्सो इन द कोर्स ऑफ शेयर्ड एक्शन ये तो ऐसे ही है जैसे स्वाब की बात है उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे तो दैट गिव्स सम काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग ऑफ let's say achievement feeling of satisfaction education as a common good therefore necessitates an inclusive process of public policy formulation 
and implementation with due accountability. So it goes beyond the policies of privatization. Ab yahan ek baat aa rahi hai very important. Recognizing education and knowledge as a global common good. जो नॉलेज है वो क्रिएट किया जा रहा है या क्रिएट करने वाले की प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी है और दैट हैज टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज सदका जारिया के एनी बॉडी कुड मेक शूज ऑफ दैट सो दैट्स ए डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सो एजुकेशन इज द डिलीबरेट प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्वायरिंग नॉलेज एंड डिवेलपिंग द कॉम्पिटेंसीज टू अप्लाई दैट नॉलेज इन रेलिवेंट सिचुएशन so the development and use of knowledge are the ultimate purposes of education it's not simply learning uh, writing reading and uh, calculations but creation of knowledge or ye knowledge jo hai should it uh, remain the private property of uh, let's say a, a group or a society or it should be Uh, let's say a common good so we must consider not only how knowledge is acquired and validated but also how access to it can be made commonly available so that is uh, uh, i think part of the common good so knowledge is the common heritage of humanity if we consider that then that knowledge should not be restricted to a particular group but it should be open to anybody who would like to use that any group or country so knowledge like education must be considered a global common good if knowledge is considered only a global public good access to it is often restricted agar public good hai to definitely ये हर किसी को अवेलेबल नहीं है देयर फोर इट हैज टू बी कॉमन गुड सो मच ऑफ द नॉलेज वी कंसिडर ए पब्लिक गुड एंड विच वी बिलीव बिलोंग्स टू द नॉलेज कॉमन इज एक्चुअली बींग प्राइवेटाइज सो दैट्स द डिफिकल्टी सो गिवन द सेंट्रल कंसर्न फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट इन एन इंक्रीजिंगली इंडिपेंडेंट वर्ल्ड education and knowledge should thus be considered as global common co goods so that is the focus that uh, knowledge should not remain let's say confined to uh, a particular group or uh, community so this means that the creation of knowledge its control acquisition validation and use are common to all people as a collective social endeavor so the governance of education can no longer be separated from the governance of the knowledge so that is for the humanity and when we talk about humanity then we uh, consider knowledge as a common good which is uh, shared to everybody it should not be restricted